Hey everyone, and a very warm welcome back to another in-depth video here on the channel. Today, we're embarking on a comprehensive exploration of mobile security and ethical hacking with a detailed review of Kali Nethunter 2025.1 running on a rooted Android phone. For those who've been following along, you know we love to get into the nitty-gritty, and for newcomers, prepare for a deep dive. Kali Nethunter isn't just an app, it's a powerful extension of the renowned Kali Linux distribution, specifically tailored for the Android ecosystem. It essentially transforms your rooted Android device into a potent mobile penetration testing platform. Think of it as carrying a cybersecurity lab right in your pocket. Now, before we proceed, let's reiterate a crucial point. The tools and techniques we'll be discussing today are incredibly powerful. Their use must be strictly confined to ethical and legal boundaries. The initial screen you encounter is the home screen. This serves as your central dashboard, providing a quick overview of your system's status. Beyond the basic version information, pay close attention to the details about your device. Understanding your device's architecture and specifications can be crucial for selecting the right tools and exploits later on. Moving on to the Kali Kroot Manager, this is where the magic truly happens. The concept of a Kroot, short for change root, is fundamental to how Nethunter operates on Android. It essentially creates an isolated file system environment, a sandbox if you will, where the entire Kali Linux operating system is installed. This prevents any modifications or conflicts with your main Android system. The settings section allows for a significant degree of personalization and configuration. While selecting a custom boot animation might seem purely cosmetic, it's part of the overall Nethunter experience. More importantly, the various settings within this section allow you to fine-tune how Nethunter interacts with your Android system and its hardware. You might find options related to persistent logging, default terminal emulators, and even specific configurations for certain attack modes. The kernel section provides powerful tools for managing your device's kernel. The kernel is the core of the operating system, responsible for managing the device's hardware resources. Nethunter often benefits from custom kernels that have specific features or optimizations for security testing, such as support for Wi-Fi injection or USB HID emulation. This section allows you to search for available kernels specifically designed for your device and Nethunter version. You can then download and flash these kernels directly through the app. For example, modules related to Wi-Fi adapter drivers or USB gadget functionality might need to be loaded for specific attacks to work. This section provides a convenient way to manage these modules. The custom commands feature is all about efficiency. It allows you to add your own frequently used commands and functions directly to the Nethunter launcher instead of having to type out long or complex commands in the terminal repeatedly you can create shortcuts that execute these commands with a single tap the audio manager is a simple but essential addition for kex users when you're running a full kali desktop environment through kex you might encounter applications that produce audio the audio manager allows you to enable audio forwarding from the Kali Kroot to your Android device so you can hear any sounds generated by these applications. This enhances the overall usability of the Kex environment. The modules section allows you to load specific kernel modules on demand. Kernel modules are essentially pieces of code that can be dynamically loaded into the kernel to extend its functionality without requiring a full kernel recompile. Nethunter might rely on specific modules for certain advanced features to operate correctly. For example, modules related to Wi-Fi adapter drivers or USB gadget functionality might need to be loaded for specific attacks to work. The USB Arsenal section is where you gain control over your Android device's USB gadget configurations. This allows your phone, when connected via USB, to identify itself to a computer as various types of USB devices. This capability is fundamental for many advanced attack scenarios. 
For instance, you can configure your phone to act as a USB keyboard, a USB Ethernet adapter, or even a USB storage device. Now, let's delve deeper into HID attacks. As we mentioned earlier, HID stands for Human Interface Device. This section allows your Android phone to emulate devices like a keyboard or a mouse when connected to a computer via USB. This can be used for legitimate security testing purposes, such as demonstrating vulnerabilities by automating a sequence of keystrokes or mouse movements on a system you have explicit permission to test. Duck Hunter HID is a specific implementation of it attacks that emulates the functionality of the popular Rubber Ducky USB device. The Rubber Ducky is a commercially available programmable USB drive that, when plugged into a computer, is recognized as a keyboard and executes a pre-programmed script of keystrokes at an incredibly rapid pace. Duck Hunter HID brings this capability to your Android phone. The baddest BAM ITM man in the middle attack is a more sophisticated and potentially impactful scenario. It leverages the USB gadget capabilities of your Android phone to position itself as an intermediary between a computer and another USB device, such as a keyboard or a mouse. This allows you to potentially intercept and manipulate the communication between the computer and the legitimate USB device. With a pumpkin is a powerful tool for setting up a rogue or malicious access point AP with a customizable captive portal. A captive portal is the web page that users are typically redirected to when they connect to a public Wi-Fi network, often requiring them to agree to terms of service or enter login credentials. With a pumpkin simplifies the process of creating such a fake Wi-Fi network. The Social Engineer Toolkit, or SET, is a comprehensive framework for conducting various social engineering attacks in a controlled and ethical manner. The section within NetHunter allows you to build your own phishing email templates directly on your phone. Phishing involves crafting deceptive emails designed to trick individuals into divulging sensitive information such as passwords or credit card details. Finally, we have the Can Arsenal. Can Controller Area Network is a robust messaging protocol widely used in modern vehicles to allow different electronic control units ECS to communicate with each other. This section provides tools for interacting with a vehicle's Can Bus, allowing for testing, diagnosis, and even potentially the manipulation of various vehicle functions. So, there you have it, an even more in-depth exploration of the incredible array of tools and features offered by Kali Nethunter 2025.1 running on a rooted Android phone. As you've seen, this platform puts a remarkable amount of power into the palm of your hand, enabling a wide range of security testing and analysis capabilities. Kali Nethunter is an invaluable tool for those seeking to learn about cybersecurity, understand potential vulnerabilities, and improve their defensive security posture. Use it as a learning tool, use it for authorized testing, and always use it ethically. The power it provides comes with a significant responsibility. Thank you so much for joining me on this extended journey through Kali Nethunter 2025.1, I hope. This detailed explanation has provided you with a greater understanding of its capabilities and the crucial ethical considerations that come with them. If you found this video informative and valuable, please consider giving it a like, sharing it with others who might be interested in ethical cybersecurity, and subscribing to the channel for more in-depth content. Remember, the world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving, so continuous learning is key. Until our next video, stay safe in the digital world and always prioritize ethical behavior.